Hello and welcome to this uh, video about the Musical Fidelity KW SACD player. Well, although you can see that it's sort of read the table of contents, I think for the first time ever, and this is far from being fixed. Um, I've acquired this unit, it's been at two other workshops before, and, um, and they've had a go at it without much success. Um, they've of course replaced the laser, which is the first thing that you would do with, in SA CD player, because they just use cheap DVD mechanisms, but you see, that, that's an old laser that was there, that they supplied with it. Um, in there, I don't know whether it's going to focus or not, there's a land where normally there's a solder blob shorting out both CD and AC, and SACD lasers. Well, that blob was still intact when I got it in that unit there. So I thought, oh, that would be an easy fix. So I removed the blob and it still didn't work. So the next step I checked the laser power and it was way, way too low. So I've adjusted it up and now it sort of behaves in a bit better manner because, well, as I said, the dread table of contents knows that it is a SACD and, and it spins it, but it still doesn't really read it properly. Um, so I just have to put another one in. And, uh, or basically, most people buy, most repair shops buy the cheapest lasers they can find. Well, I buy mine either from wholesaler in Sydney or from eBay sellers that have feedback of thousands and they've sold at least 100 or 200 of those laser units and still have over 99% um, quality feedback. To the player, the, uh, the laser mechanism is um, Sanyo SF uh, HD60, although sometimes it uses Philips, apparently, that's what I'm told. This here is a servo board, also made by Philips. It also does DSD and SACD. The main board has basically two sections. The DAC is based on three Burr Brown um, DSD 1792 units, very highly regarded. And then there is a, um, a tube section, a couple of micro tubes. Uh, and there's a tube output there and a solid state output. Two power supplies, one for the tubes, you see normal transformer there, power supply, and then it supplies uh, minus 60, plus 60, minus 23, plus 23 for the tubes. And then we have a um, supply for the rest of it, you can see the uh, toroidal transformer there, and the actual power supply is hidden behind that panel. Um, I'm actually missing uh, and I've put little crosses there at minus 20, minus 32 volts, uh, minus 12, and 12 plus for standby. But I don't know whether it, sh it should be there or not, and what's the story. I've written to Musical Fidelity and we'll see what they say, if they even answer uh, an email. Some English companies do, some don't. So we'll see how good they are. Well, that's all folks, uh, maybe I'll have uh, some better news next time, and um, if I do, uh, then it will be available for sale, uh, otherwise it's more sleepless nights for me to, to fix it, because I'm determined to fix that player. Thank you very much, and bye-bye.